welcome everyone to Kel and Kenzie Universe. Now today's video is going to be about why does Johnny Depp deserve to be the next Joker? If you're interested on what I'm about to say, please watch the video. opinions expressed in this video are our own and do not reflect on the official DC character role or the upcoming Batman movie series. There are times when a certain character influences you so much that you totally sink yourself into the character. All of the villains in the history, the Joker, it's without a doubt one of the most enduring and iconic characters. Despite the fact that the Joker is a psycho and the nicest murderer, why is the character so popular and so loved? When I was young, I used to think the Joker was all about laughing and causing destruction. <laughs> I realize it's not about laughing and causing destruction, it's about what the character is trying to show us. I realize that most people don't really understand the character according to the way he's been depicted. The Joker is a complicated character. His crimes are not fueled by the desire for money, ambition, or other ordinary motives. The terror he spreads is ideological and his motives are philosophical. He acts in a way that we sometimes wish we could, deep down, and we get a rush out of seeing him indulge in such behavior. <laughs> Whether we love him or hate him, but we cannot deny the fact that he is probably the most lovable villain in the comic world or in the DC universe. You know, what's so frustrating about them comics, animation and movies is the mere fact that they show us a different version on how the Joker became the way he was. So it's so frustrating for some people. So we go along with what we've been given. So I want to tell you why I chose Johnny Depp and the reason why I think he's the suitable actor for playing the next Joker. Why? 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 Johnny Depp is an American actor, producer and musician. He has been nominated for the 10 Globe Awards and winning one of the best actors for his performance of the title role, Sweeney Todd. We have seen Johnny Depp playing in many movies such as Pirates of the Caribbean, Alice in Wonderland, Once Upon a Time in Mexico, and The Dark Shadows. If you see Johnny Depp's movies or characters that he plays such as Jack Sparrow, Grindelwald, Saints, and The Mad Hatter, all these characters are quirky, psychotic, unpredictable, weird, mysterious, and they are tricky. Honestly, you can see many defining elements in Johnny Depp. The way Johnny Depp looks, smiles, thinks, talks, acts, and interacts while playing these roles or characters, you can see that he distances himself from reality. He sinks in deep into the characters that he plays. The last thing I want to look like is myself, you know. <laughs> um, I, I've always felt that it was important to escape. I always figured if I just did the same thing over and over, I'd not only bore myself, but I'd bore the audience. You know? If you're new to our channel, welcome to Kale and Kale's Universe. If you like, love our content, please don't forget to subscribe 
smash that like button. In fact, obliterate that button. Comment. Remember, you commenting will help us to create a better content. Thank you. Heath Ledger played this Joker so well. I mean, guys, this Joker was the best. I don't want to lie. Most people fell in love with this Joker because he wasn't just laughing all the time and causing destruction. This Joker wasn't interested in materialistic stuff. He was more idealist. He wanted to expose the hypocrisy in Gotham. The Joker's philosophy and mission to disrupt civilized society's sense of illusory superiority and humble it by bringing it back to its savage roots. I'm showing you this Joker because of Heath Ledger showed us the Joker that we wanted to see. Though he was defeated by Batman, but this Joker made sure he proved his point. Most people think that Johnny Depp is not suitable for playing the next Joker because Johnny Depp is not that funny. What? What the fuck? I mean, the role of being a Joker isn't supposed to be that funny. Heath Ledger showed us that how the Joker is supposed to be. What we want is someone who can play something similar to what he played or something better. So that's why I chose Johnny Depp because I believe he can do more than what we already have seen. When we start with Pirates of the Caribbean, Jack Sparrow is a trickster who uses wit and deceit to attain his goals, preferring to end this beat verbally instead of force. Sparrow is shrewd, calculating, and eccentric. Johnny Depp also played a character called Grindelwald. Now, Grindelwald was described as being a brilliant and ambitious individual. He was highly intelligent and his magical skills were compatible to those of Albus Dumbledore and Lord Voldemort. He was considered to be the most powerful dark wizard of all time until the rise of Voldemort a generation later. Albus Dumbledore would later even admit that he was only a shade less skillful than him. I think before or after he played the character called Grindelwald. Johnny Depp also played the character called the Mad Hatter. As the name suggests, the Mad Hatter is a seemingly insane character that gives out riddles and dresses fashionably. His obsession with tea time as well as tea parties is a result of trying to sing for the Queen of Hearts where he was found guilty of murdering time. Johnny Depp also appears in Once Upon a Time in Mexico as Sheldon Jeffrey Sands. He operates under his own system of morals, considering himself to be the one to keep the balance in the society. He maintains a calm demeanor, but is clearly quite willy and dangerous, as he without the second thought and with prejudice skill, making him something of an anti-hero. He has fondness for obvious costume and cheesy gadgets, such as a fake arm that he used to hide the gun in his real hand, and a fake mustache and beard. Last but not least, Johnny Depp also played a character called Tonto. He represented Tonto with hope, dignity, pride, and respect. And as far as Tonto being eccentric and at times considered aloof, he's always a very wise warrior. He always deserves to be what he is, a warrior. I think some of you can agree that some of the traits that Johnny Depp has shown in most of his movies are almost similar to the Joker. We'd like to thank people who commented via Facebook regarding the topic I was talking about today. Remember guys, your comments will help us to create a better content. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Peace.